Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CFC. We got a great one for you all tonight. It's going to be really good. Um, we are starting off with a gangster match. Um, uh, one on one between Don Corleone and uh, Tony Montana. We got the Godfather versus Scarface. So that's what we're kicking off the night with. We got a, a four really great fights tonight, including the main event, which will be six men for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, every four episodes, the world title will be defended, and the world title is between Candyman, um, Daniel LaRusso, Peter Griffin, Sub-Zero, Leprechaun, and Pennywise. So that is a matchup and a half coming your way, and that will be our main event, but... We're starting off here with the gangster match as um, the Godfather takes on Scarface two out of three falls. We will also have the five-man match that the poll voted on and we will also have tonight um, Jack Sparrow versus Indiana Jones in an extreme rules match. So here we go to kick things off with these two. The Don going after Tony Montana here. Tell us who your favorite is. Do you like The Godfather or do you like Scarface better? Between, I know The Godfather has three movies. Um, but if you compare the first one versus the only Scarface, what, who do you think wins that battle? Let us know. Uh, who do you prefer more? The Corleones or Tony Montana? I know Don's obviously not the main one, but you know, he starts out as the, the head guy. And look at Tony Montana throwing in some punches, some good strikes there. And I like how they both wear the, wore suits to the fight. How classy of them. How classy to wear your suit to a fight. Makes me want to fight in a suit. And Don going for a pin here and a kick out there by Tony. And Don showing off, he's flexing. And look at Tony Montana, what a takedown from the ropes. Really good uh, move there. And Tony Montana blocking really good. And here comes the Don. Ooh, good combinations there. Does not get Tony Montana on the ground, though. And look at Tony Montana doing some moves here. And good escape from that hole. And look at Tony Montana, he's gonna do it again, why not? Why not? And Tony Montana going for the pin here. And a kick out there by Don. The Don. Look at Tony Montana. He is really perfecting his high-flying moves. And he is going a little bit crazy. We may have to drug test him, you know? You know how Tony Montana is. He can take a lot of pain for obvious reasons. He can take a lot of hits for obvious reasons. And... Tony going for the pin and a kick out there by Corleone. And, I mean, Tony is flying all over the place. <laughs> He's like a little Rey Mysterio over here. A little cockroach. That's what he would say. Look at Tony. He's got a little bit of a combo here. Look at this. Ooh, nice sweep. 
And Tony going for the pin. And a kick out there once again. It's going to take a lot more than that. And Tony Montana needs to be careful because the Don will make him an offer he can't refuse. That was, that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care. And look at, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> and uh, the Don trying to grab, uh-oh, uh he's going to go for a submission. That's why he's dragging him away from the ropes. A good plan there by Corleone. And will Scarface tap out here? And he's, he, he, he somehow gets out of it. And that was a great escape. Oh my goodness, and he connects again. And he keeps on connecting those high... He's going all over the place. He's like a kid that's had a bunch of caffeine. Another kick out by Corleone. So not as, I mean, this guy cannot hold still. <laughs> and now he's going for a finisher. And he's done a lot of damage to Corleone. And look at this. Oh, a knee right to the head. Say hello to my little friend. Or my little knee. And that is a point for Tony Montana. And Tony Montana's relaxing. And look at Corleone. Catches Tony Montana off guard with the rock bottom. And he makes him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> and a kick out there by Tony. Wow. And Corleone is not happy about that. He thought it was going to be a three. Tony can take a lot of damage. We all know this. Look at Tony. Oh my goodness. Flying around this ring. And a kick out there by Corleone. And Tony going top rope again. I don't know how many high flying moves he's going to do. And that time he slips and almost falls. And uh, Corleone is taking advantage of that. But look at the reversal. This is a matchup that I have been dying to see. I mean, the only thing that would be better is Michael Corleone versus Tony Montana. That would even be better. And look at Tony Montana. Oh my goodness. Some good combos. Let's see if he can get a three out of him and a kick out there. And Scarface is cursing at the ref. You know he's cursing. We can't, we can't uh, let you know what he's saying. And a spear there by Tony Montana. Could this be it? And it is. So the Scarface defeats the Godfather in a great matchup. That was a lot of fun. I still want Tony tested. You know, I want him to pee in a cup. Okay. Because you saw how he's flying around that ring. You saw all that damage he took and like it was nothing. I want him tested. You know, we can't have cheaters on here. This does not stand for Cheaters Fight Club. And anyway, this is the match you all voted on. We got The Punisher. We got Rorschach. We got Eric Draven. We got Deadpool. And we got V. Extreme Rules. And if you wondered what the theme of this match was, Anti-Hero. Vigilante, basically. Basically, all of them are vigilantes. Deadpool, uh, he's an anti-hero, but yeah, I would say he's a vigilante, but the other four are definitely vigilantes. So, and we are kicking off this match here, and it is going to be a good one. Extreme Rules, 
fall, uh, falls count anywhere. Elimination between the, the five of these guys that just do not play by the rules. Their heart's in the right space, but uh, <laughs> how they care, um, how they um, go about their business is wrong. Let's just say that. Look at Rorschach. Oh my goodness. Look at those strikes. Devastating strikes there. We've got two Marvel guys in here, but they're completely different. Punisher probably fits the, the description better than Deadpool for this matchup. I mean, I mean Deadpool is I don't consider, even though he's an anti-hero, I do not consider him like the vigilante that goes out there and looks for trouble. The other four of these guys, they look for trouble. I think Deadpool's too lazy to look for trouble. But we went ahead and threw him in this matchup because we thought he would fit real well between these four. And he's also not as serious as the, these other four, too. How he goes about his business. And here comes Rorschach with a sledgehammer. I'm just thankful it's not a meat cleaver. We all know how he gets carried away with one of those. And Rorschach going for the pin. Kick out there. Seems like we have a little bit of slow mo going on. It's not too bad, but I've noticed it a couple times in this. But it's not horrendous. It's just something that happens every once in a while. And look at Eric Draven. A kick out there by V. And look at Rorschach. Oh, he misses. Almost connected that perfect, though. Punisher coming back in the ring now. And let me remind you all, tonight we'll decide it's going to be the Million Dollar Champion. We're going to use the Million Dollar title for this brand for now. Um, maybe we'll build one later. But right now that's not our biggest concern. But uh, we're going to have a big match. The six-man uh, elimination, falls count anywhere. Candyman, Daniel LaRusso, Peter Griffin, Sub-Zero, Leprechaun, Pennywise. I mean, it is going to be off the chain. And only one person will be crowned by the end of this. And we're also going to start up our singles runs. And what we're going to try to do is this. Every episode, we get two singles matches. And those singles matches add up. And before you know it, you're going to get to the uh, the episode before the the eighth episode, for an example. So you'll get to episode seven. And between this pay-per-view and... Well, this is technically not a pay-per-view, but um, it does have a championship match. But between that one and the next two, you will have six contenders for the seventh episode for number one contendership. And then on the eighth, you'll have a one-on-one. -on -one. So that's how it's going to go from now on. So tonight, you, you saw earlier that Tony Montana, he has earned a slot in the six to come for a number one contendership. So he earned a number one contendership tonight. And of course, the second singles match will be between Jack Sparrow and Indiana Jones. That will be Extreme Rules. This is extreme as it is. I'm just thankful these guys don't have their guns and swords and meat cleavers. And the crow on the guy's shoulder, too. And Eric Draven taking a steel chair to the Punisher's back. And look at Deadpool. Oh, knee to the head on the Punisher. And look here. Kick out there by Rorschach. And a 
nice Superman punch by V. And V is in the corner. He's playing something big. I don't know what it is. Oh, man. No, it looks like it. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. And V going for a pin. And that is a point. So, I mean, not a point. An elimination. Warshak has been eliminated. So we are down to four. Eric Draven going after Deadpool. Look at all the look at those strikes. I've noticed things have gotten faster, so maybe Warshak is the culprit behind the slow motion. We always try to find out who it is, but I noticed things did get faster. Could be somebody else. I mean, I'm just watching the fight in the ring right now. And Deadpool going for a pin and a kick out there by Eric Draven. And look at the Punisher. Beating the tore out of V. And this has just been a, a chaotic match. We expected this from these five. That they would put on a clinic and a half. And look at Deadpool here. Oh, uh, here. Oh, nice reversal by Draven. Hits him with the RKO in midair. Unfortunately, the pin may not count because we have another one taking place, and V has been eliminated. So we are down to three. That may have saved Deadpool, and it does. Because it definitely would have been a three. So we are down to three now. Punisher has the sledgehammer. Oh my goodness. They should take that away from him. I've seen him with a sledgehammer. It is not a pretty sight. And look at Draven. Gut punch. Look at Eric Draven kicking Frank Castle in the head. And now choking him. This has definitely been a brutal fight. And now he's got the sledgehammer. Draven going after the legs. And look here. Look at this. Ooh, nice kick to the head. And that kick was so bad it knocked Frank Castle out of the ring. Probably was the best bet he could take at the moment. And a kick out there by Deadpool. Look at Eric Draven. Does not connect that. Deadpool's going to take advantage and doesn't even get a two out of it, but good try there. Oh, nice reversal. Look at Deadpool going for a pin and a kick out there. And, oh man, Deadpool now going after Frank Castle with a sledgehammer. Got a good gut shot. And he may have uh, started a fight between both guys. Now they're both after him. Hey, he's the merc with the mouth. But sometimes you, you run your mouth, you're going to pay for it. Especially around these guys. And look at, oh my goodness, how about a powerbomb out of the ring? Oh my goodness, what a move. And a kick out there by Deadpool. 
Oh, nice reversal by Frank Castle. And that was a good uh, sweep to stop Eric Draven from hitting him with a sledgehammer. And Frank Castle suplexing Deadpool. He's got everyone coming after him. And this is getting out of control. And you guys did a great job on the pole. I'm proud of you all. Picking out the best matches for sure. And look at this. It looks like a submission. To the eye too. And it didn't work. Eric Draven going for a pin, and he got it. So despite the submission not working, it weakened Frank Castle enough to eliminate him from this match. And now we are down to Eric Draven and Deadpool. Only one man is going to walk out of here the winner. This has been a match and a half. And look at Eric Draven. Good pin combo. And a kick out there by Deadpool. And Eric Draven going top rope. Oh, man. You do not play around with the crow. And Eric Draven, another high flying move. Going for another pin. And another kick out by Deadpool. And look at Deadpool with the sweep. And Deadpool, uh oh, he's got a stomp. And he connects it this time. No reversal by Draven. Could this be it? Oh, and a kick out. Almost had him. And, oh, man, what a takedown by Draven. Deadpool tried to stop it. And Draven with another perfect high-flying move. Could this be it? And Eric Draven wins. What a, what a performance by Eric Draven. He did a wonderful job tonight in our vigilante match. Anti-hero match. I don't know. He's, is he an anti-hero? Well, I guess he is because he does kill. So, But, I mean, he has a good reason to, if you ask me. But uh, Eric Draven wins. So congratulations to Eric Draven. And we will continue on with our third match of the night. We are one match away from our main event. And it is going to be Jack Sparrow versus Indiana Jones up next. So if you're a fan of these franchises, you are in for a treat. This is kind of like an explorer versus an explorer. So it's really cool. Really cool matchup you're getting here um, between both of these guys. They kind of get in a lot of trouble. They're kind of, they get in a lot of mischief. They're not bad guys, really. Um, I don't know if I would say they're responsible but maybe Indiana is a little bit more than Jack is. Because he, you know, he doesn't have as much rum. But Indiana Jones is in the house. The legend. And so it's Johnny Depp versus Harrison Ford here. And this is a going to be a fun match. Extreme rules. Two out of three falls. Um, and yeah, tell us what your favorite franchise is. Do you like Indiana Jones movies or you like Pirates? Which one do you like better? Let us know. And this is definitely going to be a fight and a half. And here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Ran right into the ref to start things off. <laughs> There's nothing like getting the ref not on your side. And throwing your opponent into the referee. Hopefully it, you know, woke the referee up. Because, you know, he looks half asleep as usual. And you can all, every time I, I talk to the referee, every time I speak to him, 
I can smell the alcohol on his breath. And um, it doesn't surprise me. And Indiana Jones going top rope here. And he somehow connects that. I don't know how, but he did manage to, despite Jack moving. Look at Jack. Oh, a shot to the back of the head. And Jack Sparrow trying to get this crowd going. He's starting off pretty good. And it looks like he's going for weapons. And he's got a kendo stick. And Indiana Jones, what in the world was that? He blocked the kendo stick shot, but... I don't know what in the world he was trying to slide out of the ring and he kind of slipped. He slipped on the bar of soap. That's what, ha that's what happened. He slipped on the bar of soap. The giant bar of soap. If you think fighting on these other brands are hard, imagine fighting on a bar of soap. It's easy to slip. Look, what in the world is he doing? And he's going top rope here. And he lands it. And now going for a submission. Way too early, but Indiana Jones has got a pretty good submission. Ever since Jack came back in the ring, it hasn't been looking good for him. Kick out there from Jack. And look at Jack Sparrow. Trying to get back into this matchup. And Jack Sparrow going under, what in the world was that? Indiana Jones slipped on the bar of soap again. <laughs> and what? There's, oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get on to the interns. They did not stock weapon, weapons on the left side of the ring. This is an extreme rules match. There is no excuse. There should be something underneath the left side of the ring. What happened? It's like, did they forget to stock? I've told those interns time and time again, stock, put enough weapons underneath the ring. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. You know, this is this this goes down as an internship for their college. And they are not putting hockey sticks underneath the ring. They are not putting chairs. They are not putting... Uh, kendo sticks. They put it on the right side, but they didn't put any ball bats on the left. Good job, guys. Good job. You know, I'm supposed to be their mentor, but they're not listening. When I tell you to put weapons under the ring, I mean put weapons under the ring. Bunch of goofs is what they are. And, uh-oh, Indiana Jones. Look here. Power bomb. I mean, and I just, tonight I figured out the excuse for botches. Anytime someone botches and people complain, I can just say they slipped on the soap. That's, that's what happened. And look at Jack Sparrow tapping out. Oh my goodness. He is going to need some rum after this fight. That is for sure. To numb his pain. And, and, oh man, nice reversal there by Jack. It's not over yet. 
Uh, Indiana Jones still has to get one fall. So, he got a little ways to go. Jack's got a chair. And it connects. And that's what you need. If you are down, you need to go extreme rules. That is what you got to do. And look at Jack Sparrow. Pedigree right on the chair. And the chair's in the way of the pin. And a kick out there from Indiana Jones. And Jack cannot believe it. Every time, well, that's a nice move there, blocking the strikes and then uh, slamming him from behind. And Jack Sparrow throwing in some punches now. And look here. And the stomp once again has been locked in. And uh, Jack Sparrow going for the pin. Can he get a point? And a kick out there from Indiana Jones. Oh! <laughs> that was a funny clothesline. That chair keeps on flying everywhere. That was a pretty funny clothesline, though. And uh oh, Indiana Jones. Oh, man, yeah. Totally missed Jack there. Jack is going to take advantage of that. Look at this. Head first into the turnbuckle pad. Jack's trying to build some momentum. And going for the pin. And a kick out there from Indiana Jones. And Jack is arguing with the ref. No, the ref does not have your rum, Jack. He may act like he does, but he doesn't. Indiana Jones, he's dragging Jack Sparrow for a reason. There's a reason for it. And look at the roll up. Oh, that's genius. Genius. And he almost got a three out of it. If it wasn't for that meddling ref. And another punch to the back of the head. Look at Indiana Jones. I'm always planning to something here. And Jack's moving. Oh, but Indiana Jones punched him in the back of the head. I think that move was more effective than it was planned to be. And that's it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Jack rolled out of the way, but he rolled and got punched in the back of the head. So that's worse than getting punched in the front of the face which is what that move intends on doing. And Indiana Jones wins tonight, and he will advance to that six-man um, number one contendership in a couple weeks from now. And this is our main event. This is the moment you have been waiting for, the million-dollar title. One of these six, I don't even know how Leprechaun got in this. It's just amazing that he's in this. I think he should, you know, win a uh, uh, Even if he doesn't win, I think he should win a title. I don't know how he pulled it off. Oh, yeah, he beat Chucky. That's right. But anyway, Candyman, Peter Griffin, Sub-Zero, um, Pennywise, uh, Daniel LaRusso, and Leprechaun all in one ring. So it is going to be a matchup and a half. going to be craziness between the six of these great characters. We got three horror movie characters amongst these six. And this is definitely going to be a brutal and epic match. And an all-out war is taking place here. All for a million dollar title that's not worth a million dollars.
I'm sure I could buy it on the shop website cheaper. And look at, oh, Sub-Zero using his legs to take down Peter Griffin. That is a hard task to do. Daniel LaRusso versus Peter Griffin. <laughs> Never thought you'd see that matchup, did you? Only on Community Fight Club will you see that. And Leprechaun throwing Pennywise into the barricade. And look at Daniel LaRusso pointing at Peter Griffin. Angry with him. And Peter Griffin going after Candyman. Look at that DDT. And going for the pin. And not even a two. Falls count anywhere. Elimination. So no lucky pins. No lucky submissions. You gotta be the last one standing. So your odds are not in your favor in this matchup. And look at Peter Griffin. Oh man, Candyman. Oh my goodness. What a move there. And Pennywise beating a tar out of Leprechaun. Look at the double team on Daniel LaRusso. And whoever wins tonight, they're going to be the main target from now on. So they'll be our first crown champion ever. And Peter Griffin flying over the top rope. Good Irish whip there by Sub-Zero. Everybody is outside now. Ref's not even getting down there yet. It's too hectic. That and he's a sissy. There's two reasons there. And Peter Griffin with the DDT on Candyman. And uh oh, Leprechaun here. Leprechaun going top rope. He's got something planned. Well, this does not look good. And we can't see it, unfortunately. Well, it looks like he connected it. And he's going top rope again. And that time, and we got another pin going on. Peter Griffin going after Candyman. And a kick out there by Candyman. I'd like to see, I would like to know how the ref sees over still steps. That's what I would like to know. When he's laying on the ground, how does he, does he have x-ray vision? And look at Peter Griffin here. Oh man, Candyman, oh this is going to be a, oh, oh man, against the barricade. What a main event. Definitely earns main event. We've had some really good ones tonight, but this, I don't think they're going to be better than this match. And a DDT there from Daniel LaRusso. Look at Sub Zero. Oh no, that was Daniel. Leprechaun trying to get a pin. The ref's doing all he can. You got to move quickly. And a kick out there by Pennywise. It's all about first come, first serve. He's moving constantly. Gives him good workout. He needs it. And look here. Oh, man. Leprechaun going top rope. 
Pennywise, oh, trying to drag him down, did not work. And Leprechaun, oh, what a reversal there by Pennywise. Slamming Leprechaun down as he's in midair, and he's going to make him pay for that. And look at Peter Griffin here. Almost has an elimination on Candyman. Those two have really been fighting and really uh, going at it in this matchup here. And Pennywise trying to pin Leprechaun, but once again, the ref could not get there in time. He's, you know, as much as I don't like the ref, there's only so much you can do in this type of match. And a kick out there by Sub-Zero. So we've had a lot of near falls, but no falls yet. Look at Pennywise, strikes to Sub-Zero. Oh, and a kick, almost took the clown's head off. Almost a fatality. And that was a three, yeah, Pennywise has been eliminated and that is a shocker, seeing that he's first out of, out of this match. But he got kicked so, hard in the head, His, he almost got decapitated. So we are down to five now. Sub-Zero with an epic kick. Peter Griffin. Oh, Candyman just socked Peter Griffin in the face. Oh, and it gets it gets the job done. So finally, we had a little bit of a rivalry between Candyman and Peter Griffin tonight. And Candyman just had enough and just decked him. Maybe with the hook. I don't know. I couldn't see it. He's got like a sock. They're not he's not allowed to have a hook in the match. But what an epic elimination there by uh Candyman getting rid of Peter Griffin. That's one way to do it. I and Peter Griffin had a great shot of winning this thing. Oh, sub zero. Oh man, once again, another deadly hit. And Candyman has been eliminated. Sub-Zero gets his second elimination. And we are down to three. One of these three will be your new million dollar champion. Leprechaun still in it. He's fighting to, to win this thing. You know, that million dollars is... It's not as good as me gold. <laughs> That's for sure, but... Um, it's about as close as he can get to it. Imagine a championship reign with the Leprechaun. That'd be crazy. And Daniel LaRusso. Oh my goodness. Don't count him out either. And a kick out there by Sub-Zero. Once again, Daniel puts in a big move on Sub-Zero and he just couldn't finish him. No pun intended. Leprechaun sneaky, he's fast. He can be a big problem for these these two. I wouldn't underestimate him, even though I do. Uh, he, he, he's not good at rumbles, but this is not a rumble. And look at Daniel LaRusso here. Yeah, I, I spoke too soon. Leprechaun's been eliminated. We are down to two. One's a black belt, one is a... Uh, shoots ice out of his hands, I don't know. He's part of a squad, though. I forget what they're called. And Sub-Zero. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. He's going to powerbomb Daniel LaRusso out of the ring. 
Oh my goodness, could this be it? And a kick out there. And Daniel barely makes it out. We are down to two. Only one can take the million dollar title home. Oh my goodness, and a big punch there. And look at Daniel fighting back. Throwing some kicks. He needs to do the crane kick. This is, this, he's not fighting Cobra Kai here. This is a whole different you know, problem. This is a guy that will take your spinal cord out. And he just Claymore Daniel LaRusso. And Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. He wins the million dollar championship. He almost, yeah, he almost knocked Daniel LaRusso's head off. So I hope you all enjoyed it. We got a new champion tonight. Sub-Zero. And he took out four people in this matchup. I think. Yeah, four people. And we will see you all later. A new champion.